Get your mind to gather around the breath. Don't let it go leaking out your eyes and ears, and especially out parts of the mind that go to the past or the future. Try to be right here in the present. It's when the mind is gathered together that you realize how much strength you have. It's like a monastery I knew in Bangkok. They didn't know how many bank accounts they had. They set out word, and it turned out they had bank accounts all over the country. People had been giving or dedicating bank accounts to them, and they'd lost track of them all. And as a result, they didn't realize how wealthy they were. Once everything was gathered together in one place, then they realized how much wealth they had and how they could use it to good purpose. Well, it's the same with the mind. The mind gets scattered around. We don't realize how much power the mind can have. So when we gather it into one, it's realized the mind has a lot of power. It can cut through a lot of cravings and a lot of clingings, overcome a lot of weaknesses that it otherwise would accept as normal. The problem is, as I said, our attention goes leaking out our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body. In the mind, it goes leaking out to the past and the future. So you've got to seal up the leaks. This is what mindfulness is for, alertness. You're alert to wherever there's a leak, and then you remember. You can't just let the mind go flowing out those places. Because even though the mind potentially has a lot of power, if it flows out like that, its power is, gets scattered. It doesn't have much force. And what are the leaks? Sensual desire, ill will, sloth and torpor. Restlessness and anxiety, uncertainty. These things are leaks in the mind. And like a leaky toilet, you waste a lot of your energy on things that really don't provide you with anything at all. The energy just flows through and out, through and out, and doesn't get focused on anything in particular. But if you close off the leaks, get everything together in here, and then you realize how much strength you've got. Now you can use that strength for a lot of good purposes. So when sensual desire provides leaks in your eyes and ears, or ill will, or sloth and torpor, recognize them for what they are. That's what mindfulness is. And then realize, remember also that you've got to do something about them. You just can't let them continue to leak like that. This is where you bring in alertness and ardency. And you can protect all the energy of the mind from going to waste.